Hey guys, Sean Clement here from the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center, bringing you the 100th episode of our YouTube series. Standing here right next to Payne Stewart's statue here at Pinehurst, played number eight today, fabulous, tomorrow morning, number two. I can't wait. Now, to really enjoy golf courses like this when you go out, you can't be thinking. So this theme will be about how to turn off the thinking and how to turn on the feeling and how to play out of your mind. Stay tuned, here we go. So this is kind of nice, right? I go down to Pinehurst, do my 100th YouTube video, and wouldn't you know it, the, the main clip, my 10 minute clip is corrupt. Tried to save it at the Apple Store, they couldn't do that either. So I'm going to do the little 10 minute clip here and then we'll come back to the conclusion back at Pinehurst. So um, we were going to say how it's extremely important, especially when you go on a nice golf trip. You don't want to be thinking technical stuff. I know many of you are so tempted to think, oh yeah, but I'm working on this thing and I, I, I'm so insecure that if I don't do these things, I'm going to mess up. Well, I'm going to give you guys an amazing routine here. And this routine is as applicable on the range as it is out on the golf course. I will give you full authority to think about your body parts all you want in your practice swing. But when it comes time to swinging through the ball towards a target, you have to be focused on one particular feel. And your practice swing is going to get you there, okay? So here we are, Richmond Hill, hole number 18. It's a really tough par 5. It's tough because it's tight and I can't go through the fairway. So basically my shot here off the tee, I can't move more than 220 yards off the tee. And the closer I get to 220, the narrower it gets. So I'm, I just basically take four iron here, which is my left-handed four iron, and, and I take a nice smooth swing down the center of the fairway. So what I'm looking for is um, the, the starter shack at the top of the hill. That's where I want to send my momentum. So that's where my, tar my target is. The golf ball is not your target. And it's so important that you do not think about anything in your backswing because if you take any, you know, if you, you think about anything in your in your backswing, your focus goes to your backswing. When you're done with that, you will automatically default to the ball. And if the ball ever becomes your target, it's over. You're toast. Okay. So never allow the golf ball to become your target. Don't allow yourself to default to the ball. In order for you to do that, you need to get a focus through the ball toward the target. So I'm going to take a couple of practice swings here. I just had my workout, so bear with me. I'm a little stiff, and I haven't hit any practice balls this morning, but I wanted to get this out to you. So I take my line. I've got a nice spot right here that I'm going to go a little bit to the right of, so I'm going to get a better lie here. I'm going to line myself up, back off. Now let's say what I'm trying to do in my swing, what I'm working on at the moment, is enough momentum to finish my backswing, create some nice width, because I've been breaking down a little bit in, the, in my backswing, as an example. So, toss it wide, and then, hmm, did the momentum go toward the ground, or did the momentum go toward the target? It was a little too much toward the ground. So I'm gonna take another one. Toss it wide. Yeah, that was more out toward the target, but I didn't quite get the contact I'm looking for with the ground. There it is. Now I just changed all these thinking processes and I've turned them into one feel. The feel of that fast, effortless whip past the ball and toward the target. And you know what a good practice swing feels like and a bad one feels like. So you've got 40 seconds to organize your thoughts and get those thoughts switched into a feel. Then you go to the ball with strictly that feel and that feel has to be through the golf ball, okay? This is so important. That's the one. Now what, what was that feel again? Huh? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. It felt just like that. Wonderful. Perfect. So I'm right at the top of the bottle. And if I hit one more like that, I'm right in front of the green and I can chip on and get my birdie, okay? So let's go do a little approach shot. Okay, so as you can see, it gets a little narrow up here. So I've got about 220 left to the pin, uphill, and uh, you can see that uh, I just kept the camera along the slope so you can see a little bit of the slope here. So now what I'm looking for, I got this nice telephone pole as my target up the hill here. And the pin is just about behind that telephone pole and um, just over the ridge. So what I want is the momentum to go up the slope and toward that telephone pole. That's my goal. So up, up the hill, we want to make sure we maintain our leverage. If you go to the on the slopes video and you look at the uphill shot, it's a flat footed whip. So flat footed whip up the slope. Yep, that felt really good. Momentum was up the slope. You could see my divot was well past the ball. Had some amazing leverage to hold me in place. Really enjoyed that feel. So I've got my target. I still feel what I just experienced and I'm sending that momentum right toward that telephone pole. It's the only thing I got in mind right now is the feel of the pass here toward that telephone pole and it feels effortless and powerful good finish just a little left target so a good bailout here is a little bit to the left of the green and I'll have an easy up and down there for my birdies let's go see let's go see if we can do it